Hey everyone, Liz here with a cold sniff candle review. It has been a minute. I haven't posted anything since uh, Corona started swirling around in uh, January. So um, really super overdue. I think I'm gonna shoot three videos over the next three days, um, just so that they're not super long. Um, so today's cold sniff, everything here was new to me. I made a major purchase of 18 candles. Um, hmm. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, this is not going to be an awesome, oh my God, I love these candle videos. This is actually everything that I think I'm just going to sell. Um, there's two I'm on the fence with. Let's just get started. Okay. So, um, vanilla sage, new to me. There's another one. Is it maybe like a beachy candle that had some sage in it that just like, I also said in that one that I didn't get the sage, um, but I loved that candle. Um, green is my favorite color, um, and this is just so unique. It's such a, it's like a little bit of a poopy kind of pea green, but I don't know. It's something appealing about it. The fragrance appeal of this candle is not there at all. I just don't like this. It's like vanilla and then like an herbal plant. Um, I just don't think that the vanilla and the sage go well together at all. And um, I don't think the sage is really spot on either. I don't remember the notes of this candle at all, so let's read them. Oh yeah, frosted sage, fresh pine needles, white lavender, and vanilla cream. So I remember being intrigued by the pine needles and the lavender too, thinking, oh, this is just going to be like a big culmination of like, you know, fragrances here. Yeah. yeah, I just, this just does nothing for me. Um, I don't like it. Yeah, it's just, um, yeah, herbal. And I'm just not, I'm just not loving uh, that kind of herbal feel. So I'm not going to be keeping this one. Um, next up was um, blackberries and basil. There's no basil in this candle at all. It's just very sweet, straightforward fruit, but it's almost like gum, like a bubble gummy, super sweet, artificial, like fake. And then also reminds me of a medicine that I took as a kid, like um, maybe amoxicillin. Yeah, that was that like pink, really thick, syrupy, bubble gummy flavor. That's what it reminds me of. That's not good. Nobody wants to be burning that. Yeah. So I'm going to sell this one too. Um, somebody who's into like, I mean, I like sweet fruits, but to me, it's just not a realistic fruit. Yeah, and that's where that that where my brain's taking me is to bad childhood memories. Uh, fresh blackberries, sparkling champagne, basil with essential oils. Um, I don't know, I wanna say that this could have been interesting if the basil was there, although I don't really love what herbally is going on with this one, so I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna keep that either. Um, next up, which this might be a repeat purchase for me. It sounds like something I would have loved in the past. And I've got all of the other pancake um, candles, pumpkin pecan waffles, and what is it, maple cinnamon pancakes. Love those. Love those. This one is so sweet. And again, I love a sweet candle. Um, and actually now I am getting the maple syrup. I felt like I originally wasn't. Again, a very artificial blueberry here. And I immediately thought when I smelled it, oh, I prefer blueberry pie much, much more. Um, and I have multiples, oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I have a multiple of blueberry pies in the house. Um, that one I really, really cared for. So then I immediately compared this to the blueberry pie. Um, which I think this sold really, really well this season. Um, and then this often happens to me, then I smelled this and I was like, oh, actually, 
I know for a fact that, well, in my opinion, this smells better burning than it does on cold. This is just a fabulous candle. It's so, um, got that like baked, delicious, good with the fruit. Um, I think I, oh, I said that this is like um, neutral grain bars too, like that cereal bar. Mm. But the more that I smell this, I think I'm gonna end up keeping it. It's super, super, super sweet and artificial, but in an okay that I can deal with. The more I kind of sniffed on it, the more I kind of fell in love. Um, so, wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, warm maple syrup. Husband's going away on a business trip. I think he's gonna take this with him and burn it in the hotel room, which if you've seen my videos, we love to do that. We were actually just gone last week and burned um, apple pie, um, which was awesome. Haven't reviewed that yet, but um, it was nice. And then this one was also in my, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this pile, um, banana walnut muffin. And again, the more I smelled on it last night and the more I debated, I think I'm gonna end up keeping it. I just feel like if I were in the store and I just smelled that real quick, like if I was on a mission and I was in the store and I got to smell everything and I see my basket fill up with the things that I love, just like these two just wouldn't end up sticking around because I would love other things more. But I just went balls out with this uh, big purchase of 18. Um, Cause I was like, eh, you know, if I don't love them, I can sell them. So I probably won't do that again. <laughs> um, because I just went all willy-nilly instead of just purchasing the things that I think that I would really, really love. The banana in this is really, really understated, which at first was a really big disappointment to me. I totally get the cinnamon and the nutmeg, which are spice notes in here. I totally get those, and I love those. Um, and it definitely smells um, bready you know, cakey, muffiny, definitely got that, that baked note, which again, I adore. I just wish that the banana was a little bit more turned up, but it doesn't smell bad. It actually smells really, really good. I was just super disappointed that the banana wasn't there. I actually don't think I've ever had a banana candle. Um, the banana milkshake, the banana bundt cake, it's not really my jam, um, because I don't love, like artificial banana candy, <laughs> Um, but I have a fresh banana in my oatmeal almost every morning. So I like the more natural kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, this is like totally like a banana bread in the oven. Like I, I really do get that. And I don't know if you walked into someone's house and be like, oh, you're baking banana bread. I don't know that you would, you can tell that they're baking something, but would you know it was banana bread right away? Yeah, I don't know. So it's good, and I think I really will enjoy this while it's burning. Um, so ultimately, um, the others I will sell. And I just wanna say, I also got this candle, um, again in this like uh, dark, uh, not dark, but opaque um, container, and then with the same color matching wax. Crazy, it's so bright. Um, super intrigued by vanilla pumpkin creme. Ooh, right? Had to have it. I have every pumpkin candle, right? Bath and Body Works. Rude. This is the same exact candle as pumpkin pie. I have it because I love it. I didn't need two. That's rude. It's a complete repackaging and it really really got my goat creamy pumpkin creamy pumpkin vanilla creme vanilla creme fresh ground nutmeg fresh ground nutmeg graham cracker crust graham cracker crust not cool at all so really enjoyed this candle last year um but I already have one waiting for me this season I would not have purchased this super bummer if you like pumpkin pie uh, this is what it is so um grab it if you need one um but that was rude not happy about that it's a good candle um like i had said last time i've already re reviewed this candle but it's just like so so true to pumpkin pie it's like 
quite vegetable-y. Like you can get the pumpkin and the spices with it and the baked good note. Like every element is there. Um, so that's, you know, sometimes in pumpkin candles, you're, you're just getting more spice or, you're, you know, you're, you're not smelling pumpkin. It's not a super fragrant vegetable, I guess. Um, but you can really, really smell that here. And so I really um, appreciate that. So my next um, candle review will be all the candles that were new to me and that I did really like and that I'm keeping. Um, so if you're having a poopy day, that video will get you in a better mood for sure because we all want things that we love, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Talk soon.